Hi, I'm Keith and I'm going to show you how to drain the water out of the water separator and change the screen inside of it on a John Deere 35G. We'll get a close up here and we'll see a red ring inside of here. When that ring starts to rise, it floats on top of water. That way you know there's how much water is in this. In this case, there is no water in this water separator, but we're going to change the screen anyways, and I'll show you how to drain it out. I like to use a little hose because there's no room underneath it, and it'll just make a mess if you open the valve. So I get a little hose, I get myself a drain pan, I push the hose onto the drain, make sure the end is in my drain pan. I have a little valve right here. It's pointed to on right now. We're going to turn that to off, and what that does is it stops fuel from coming from, from the fuel tank in here. Now to drain water, you can leave it on and it'll push the water out. So in this case, to drain the water, you leave that on, you open the valve. By opening it, you just have to un unscrew it. As you unscrew it, it starts to open the bottom. You don't have to take it all the way out. And as you can see, fuel is draining out. Now water sinks to the bottom of fuel so that the water will drain out before fuel. If there's water in there, you wait for the water to completely drain out. After you get nice clean fuel like it is now, you can screw this valve closed again. And that's how you drain the water out of the filter. Now I'm going to change the filter inside of it, which is a little plastic screen. So I turn this off. Now no fuel can come in from the fuel tank. I unscrew the valve to drain. Now, as you unscrew it, because the valve is off, no fuel is pushing through it and it won't want to drain out. So instead of pulling the whole drain out, I'll grab a pair of pliers and I'll crack this loose and it'll allow air to go in. As I unscrew this, it'll start to let air in and it'll start to drain for us. As you can see, it's starting to drain now. I wait until it's completely drained out now. Now that we've drained all the fuel out of the water separator, we can pull it apart and we can change the screen in it. Just unscrews just like any filter. and the screen on the inside pops off. Some fuel will come out, dump it out in your drain pan. I like to screw the drain back in right away. And if there's any crud on the inside, as the machine gets older, it'll get build up. You can clean that out. You can wipe it out with a rag or brake clean. You can spray it out. You want to make sure that it's nice and clean. On this machine, the water separator screen is made up of two pieces. They just clip together. Install like so. It just clips onto, onto a little piece inside. It'll stay there. And then you can thread the housing back on. I do this housing up only hand tight, make sure the drain is tight, and you can open the valve back to on. There's a bleed screw right here. I have to grab a tool and we open the bleed screw to allow the fuel to flow in. It's a 10 millimeter socket wrench. And all you need to do is crack it open a little bit and right away you'll start seeing fuel flow in and fill the fuel bowl up. I have fuel coming out of the bleed screw now. I tighten the bleed screw back up. It's a good idea when you're done to grab a rag and just wipe any excess fuel you have. And that's how you drain the water out of and change the screen from a fuel water separator on a John Deere 35G.